The U.S. military unleashed B-2 stealth bombers to target underground bunkers used by Yemen's Houthi rebels early Thursday, a major escalation in the American response to the rebels' attacks on Mideast shipping lanes that appeared to be a warning to Iran as well. While it wasn't immediately clear how much damage the strikes caused, the attack appeared to be the first use of the B-2 in combat in years and the first time the flying wing targeted sites in Yemen. In announcing the strikes against the Houthis, who have been attacking ships for months in the Red Sea Corridor over the Israel-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin made a point to offer a warning likely heard in Tehran as well. This was a unique demonstration of the United States' ability to target facilities that our adversaries seek to keep out of reach, no matter how deeply buried underground, hardened or fortified. Austin said, Iran, the Houthis' main benefactor, has targeted Israel with ballistic missile attacks twice over the past year. The B-2 would be used in any American attack on hardened Iranian nuclear facilities like Natanz or Fordo, given it is the only aircraft in service that can drop the GBU-57, known as the Massive Ordnance Penetrator. Iran offered no immediate comment on the strike. On Thursday, its foreign minister has been visiting Arab nations ahead of an expected Israeli retaliatory strike over Tehran's October 1 missile assault. The Houthis Al Masira satellite news channel reported airstrikes around Yemen's capital, Sana'a, which the group has held since 2014. They also reported strikes around the Houthi stronghold of Sada. They offered no immediate information on damage or casualties. Austin said the B-2 bombers targeted five hardened underground weapon storage locations in the Houthi-controlled area of Yemen. Both he and the U.S. military's Central Command offered no immediate assessment on the damage done. However, Central Command said it believed no civilians had been killed. The Red Sea has become a battlefield for shippers since the Houthis began their campaign targeting ships traveling through the waterways, which once saw $1 trillion of cargo pass through it yearly. Houthis have targeted more than 80 merchant vessels with missiles and drones since the war in Gaza started in October 2023. They have seized one vessel and sunk two in the campaign that has also killed four sailors. Other missiles and drones have either been intercepted by a US-led coalition in the Red Sea or failed to reach their targets, which have included Western military vessels. U.S. long-range B-2 stealth bombers launched airstrikes early Thursday morning targeting underground bunkers used by Yemen's Houthi rebels, officials said. It wasn't immediately clear what damage was done in the strikes. However, there are no previous reports of the B-2 spirit being used in the strikes targeting the Houthis, who have been attacking ships for months in the Red Sea corridor over the Israel-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip. According to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, strikes were carried out on five fortified underground facilities. He added that the attack was executed using B-2 bombers, sending a message to terrorists. This was a unique demonstration of the U.S. ability to target facilities that our adversaries seek to keep out of reach, no matter how deeply buried underground, hardened, or fortified, Austin stated. The Houthi group in Yemen is supported by Iran. Along with the Palestinian Hamas and Lebanese Hezbollah, the Yemeni militants are part of the so-called axis of resistance against the U.S. and the collective West. Following Israel's military operation against Hamas in October 2023, the Houthis began attacking commercial vessels associated with Western carriers in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. In response, the U.S. and Israel have repeatedly struck Houthi terrorist targets in Yemen, but allies have yet to halt their attacks.